Are you unsure on how to use some of these new Pokemon competitively? Well, allow me to lend you a helping hand. Hey guys, today we're going to be going over Serilege. Now this one is really good and I'm excited to go over this one. I'm going to actually do something a little different today as well. At the end of this video, I'm going to play a game here on Pokemon Showdown using one of the sets I talk about today to give a little insight to how the Pokemon's played and kind of show it off a little bit. I have a little... A little twist on that today too which would be pretty fun so definitely stay tuned till the end of the video to check that out now let's talk about sarah ledge the stats are pretty solid hp of 75 is nothing incredible but when you pair that with 80 defense and 100 special defense you get some pretty solid natural bulk uh 85 speed is nothing incredible but in this current meta game it's actually okay because you're one point faster than golden go which is pretty important since that matchup can go either way between you two you're weak to the ghost, it's weak to the fire. So being faster can be really helpful in some situations there. Now, another benefit to 85 speed is, as I've mentioned in previous videos, 107 speed is the speed everyone kind of goes for for those Tailwind teams if they want to outspeed things like Dragapult. And it only takes 12 EVs to get there when you're at 85 speed, which is a really solid investment. It also only takes about 68 EVs, I believe it is, yeah, to outspeed things like Adamant Tyranitar. And that's pretty solid. That's something you're going to want to outspeed with this Pokemon. So it's nice that it doesn't take too much investment to get there. The abilities are Flash Fire, which is amazing. Um, they're the same abilities as Arm Rouge, to be honest, but the abilities are Flash Fire and Weak Armor. Now, Flash Fire is an incredible ability. It gives you fire immunity and it makes your fire attacks do 1.5 times damage if you get hit by a fire move. And that's really strong, especially for a fire type. Weak Armor is an ability where if you get hit by an attack, you get your defense lowered by one and your speed raised by two. This is really solid, especially with that 85 speed. You can do some pretty, pretty cool things. And I'll have some sets with both of these for you today that we'll dive into. Now you're a fire and ghost type, and that is uh, that is really good, to be honest. Fire is an incredible typing. You've seen things like Incineroar and Arcanine just dominate meta games. And ghost, I mean, we all know how good ghost can be as a typing. There's not much that really wants to switch into it, other than dark, which um, or, or normal, I suppose, but this Pokemon actually gets access to close combat. Now, I'm not using that on a lot of the sets today, but it's definitely there and something you can consider. So let's dive into the first set. And this set actually wasn't created by me. I'm not going to take credit. It was created by this guy right here, Fede Campo VGC, an Italian player that actually won a recent, I believe it was tour with this Pokemon. And it's pretty cool. So go drop them a sub, share the love. And um, I'll try to explain this set the best that I can. I didn't create this, so I had to reverse engineer some of the EVs to figure out what they're for. But I have a pretty good idea in mind. So we're running a bulk up set. Now, <laughs> these sets are really cool. They're really good for staying on the field for a long time. And with that decent natural bulk, getting a plus one in defense and raising our attack is pretty solid. We're going to stick around for a while. We're running Terra Blast with Terra Grass. Now, Terra Grass is probably the best defensive Terra on this Pokemon anyway, as you lose the fire weakness because of Flash Fire, and you tend to avoid most of your natural weaknesses. It's really solid. It also avoids things like Rage Powder, and you won't be spored by things like Amoongus. So Terra Grass is a very, very strong Terra type. We're running Bitter Blade. This is the signature move of this Pokemon, and um, I think it's a little broken. <laughs> it's really, really strong. It's a base power of 90, it's fire stab, and you recover 50% of the damage you deal. That's a lot. So we're running bulk up to increase our defenses and our attack, which is the damage of this move, that we will recover 50% of the damage we deal from. So that's a really, really strong combination. We also have Shadow Sneak, and this is going to be just a stab priority move. It's, it's gonna help us out when we're a little slower and we wanna get a priority move off in the beginning of a turn. It's also Ghost Stab, so it does hit pretty, pretty hard. We're running the Clear Amulet. As we are a boosting set, it would be very frustrating if our opponents were to just keep cycling Intimidate onto us over and over again. So we're going to run the Clear Amulet to avoid stat drops at all. Now the EVs. So the 68 speed, as I mentioned, that outspeeds things like Adamant Tyranitar. That's a pretty important speed tier, and that's one I picked up on pretty quickly. Now the Special Defense of 12, that's an amazing one right there. So 252 in HP is to maximize the bulk across the board. But then 12 special defense is the exact amount you need to always live a shadow ball from modest goldengo and that's interesting so if you drop this down to four 
that won't help you live. It needs to be 12. It needs to be exactly 12 and you will live the Shadow Ball from Goldengo. And that's a pretty cool calc. And it's pretty cool they kept that in mind. Now the defense helps you live things like Waterfall from Gyarados, which is massive as that's a super effective hit. It also probably helps you with a lot of plus one calcs after recovery that I'm not aware of. But one thing that's pretty cool is if you're versing a mirror match Serral Edge with this same set, the 60 defense will ensure that the maximum you take from Shadow Sneak is 49%. That means you can't be too KO'd by the move. That's really, really solid and a really good investment. I'm sure there are many other reasons for the EVs here, but as the person that didn't create the set, the best I could do reverse engineering it was pretty basic ones like that. The attack is pretty solid, and this set is probably the one we're going to try out today, uh, which is really cool. It's a really, really cool set, so stay tuned for later in the video for that one. Let's get into the next set here, and this is one that I was actually running on the ladder at the start of the season, and it's a Swords Dance uh, Focus Sash set. So the funny thing about this set is... You'll survive any hit with Focus Sash. You're running max speed and max attack. You're pretty frail on this build. You do have some decent natural bulk, but this was mainly for the outspeeding of Goldengo. Then you have Swords Dance to plus two your Bitter Blade. And originally when I first started, I was running Terra Fire. When I first started with this set, and <laughs> plus two Terra Fire Bitter Blades, there were some matchups where I would take Chip to about half my health when I Swords Danced. And then I would uh, Bitter Blade and I would heal all the way back to full because it hit so hard and I would have my Focus Sash again. So that was really, really cool because it won't get consumed unless you take all of your health in that one hit in the beginning. So that's a really cool to keep in mind. But in the long run, Terra Grass defensively was a better bet once I started to get higher up and it was something really important for me to, to swap, swap to. Uh, and yeah, definitely worth it. Terra Grass is the way to go on this Pokemon in most situations. Um, Shadow Sneak, there for priority and Protect. So this set, because we're a little more frail, and we wanted to protect our Sash. Protect felt a little more necessary than Terra Blast, but that is honestly up to you. You can get rid of Protect and you can run Terra Blast. You can honestly get rid of um, Swords Dance and run Terra Blast if you want to as well and not worry about boosting. The button hits hard. It's, it's really solid. <laughs> it's, it's honestly just fine. Like run what you want. Uh, but this set, yeah, did pretty well for me. It had some pretty, pretty good success with this. Flash Fire as well. And if you... If you swap in <laughs> to a fire move, or if you activate it with like Lava Plume, activating it for yourself, and you have like a Sword Stance, a Bitter Blade, and you were Terra Fire, you pretty much heal to full. It's crazy. <laughs> it was really fun, but it's a bit gimmicky, and it didn't really work against great players. Um, next, we have this set. Uh, you know, speaking of gimmicky, which is really cool. A really, really cool set. It's the Weakness Policy Weak Armor set. Now, this is similar to the Arm Rouge one. The difference with this Pokemon is we're faster. It only takes 12 speed EVs for that one proc of weak armor to shoot us up to faster than Dragapult. Now that's amazing. That's really amazing. And because of that, we can use our weakness policy to boost our attack and special attack by two stages. So we're getting a plus two and we're getting a plus two. So we're getting really, really fast. We're doubling our speed and we're doubling our attack and we're hitting so hard with the fire bitter blades. This set, I think fire is actually good. Because realistically, um, you're not going to be terror, like using your terror defensively uh, when you're lowering your defenses with weak armor. It just wouldn't make much sense. So you're going to probably want to go offensively. So if you use terror fire and you bitter blade with that plus two, I can't tell you how satisfying it feels. <laughs> I really can't. Um, you don't have flash fire, so you lose that buff. But yeah, you'd, you'd activate this with things like flip turn, uh, allowing you to terror turn one. Or you could use something like, um, like beat up to get even more speed. There's many ways to, to proc it. Essentially, you hit yourself with a weakness. Um, you gain weakness policy, and you get your weak armor, and you just you just continue to sweep. This The EVs here are literally enough speed to outspeed Dragapult after one weak armor proc, um, and then max attack, and then maximize your bulk, and you know the remaining EVs into defense and special defense. Now, this set packs quite a punch. We've got close combat on here, and you essentially don't really have any switch-ins if you read your opponent correctly. Nothing resists all three of these types, <laughs> so that's really solid, and that's, um, yeah, definitely something to keep in mind. Um, it's a pretty solid set, and I had a really, really good time with it. Now, this set here is a spicy one. I always like to throw in a spicy set, um, and, and I'll go back for a quick, before I get into this one, I will explain here with this set, literally, if you were to just run Flash Fire with these exact same EVs, throw on a Choice Band over here, so let's just do that now, so on screen, so you can follow. We're on Flash Fire, we'll go Choice Band, the exact same EVs. And here we run like Terra Blast and we go Terra Grass. This set here is amazing. Under Tailwind, you're the same speed as you would have been with Weak Armor. So under Tailwind, you have to be Dragapult and then you have these really hard hitting Choice Banded moves. So this again is another way to run the Pokemon, another little bonus set for you. So we'll go here into 
the spicy set. Now, this set is, um, <laughs> look, it's interesting, but I like it. I'm not going to lie. I like it. And this set is, um, it's got leftovers, which look, you could run citrus berry here and you might get more out of it, but leftovers in the long run on certain teams could definitely be better for you. We invest heavily into bulk. As I said, you have good natural special defense and decent defense. So investing into bulk like this makes you be a little tanky and you get off a will-o'-wisp to halve your opponent's attack. So you're halving your opponent's attack. You have taunt to stop them from setting up. You have bulk up to raise your defenses a little more. And, and you just start becoming so, so bulky after time. You could run this as well. You could reverse the special defense and defense. Um, because you're going to be bulking up, which actually might be better in the long run. You have Will O' Wisp, so we'll switch it to this. This may actually be a better set, but I think if we do that, we'll switch it to um, to Impish. There we go, Impish. So Impish is a little better. So you could run this honestly, and you could bulk up. You can taunt. You can Will O' Wisp, and you can use Bitter Blade for recovery. You are walled by Flash Fire Pokemon and other Surl Edge, but you would deal with them with the rest of your team. This set lets you just be really bulky, as I said, control the field a little with Taunt. And if they don't pay attention to you and they let you bulk up, you're going to sweep them with Bitter Blade. So it's a really cool set to try out. Um, <laughs> it's honestly kind of fun. Now we'll get into the set that I think would be good for singles. And this is just a pretty standard set. We go Jolly, we go Max Speed, Max Attack, and we go Flash Fire, Life Orb, Terra Fire for big, big damage, or we could do Terra Grass and Terra Blast, honestly. Um, this could honestly just be, again, Terra Grass is just so, so good on this Pokemon and you can drop any of these, but I wasn't running Terra uh, Blast because I figured Swords Dance with Bitter Blade, Close Combat and Shadow Sneak is a really good coverage. So that's up to you again. You can run what you want there, but yeah, I think in singles, a good setup, just max, max, um, max, max set because you are one point faster than Goldengo, which doesn't really allow you to do things like this if you want to be fast on the Pokemon like that, unless you know they're all running bulk, and then you can kind of work around that and, and get to where you know you think they're running the speed. But yeah, I think this Pokemon is really, really strong. Serilege is definitely something not to uh, take it lightly. It's a really powerful Pokemon, and I'm a big, big fan of it. So I'm going to cut to when I get to a game, and I'll talk you through the, the team I'll be using. So as I mentioned, we're going to be running that bulk up set, and I did say there was a bit of a twist here, and that is that... I'm using only the Pokemon that I've covered so far in the A to Z series. So I've used some really, really weird sets on some of them because I want to try to highlight Serenlet in this and it's going to be kind of tough, but we'll see how we go with this team. These are literally ones I've covered in the A to Z series. The playlist will show up on the screen right now if you want to see more of those videos. So I'm going to cut to when I get into a game and we'll see how this goes. Um, that is actually so funny. I was taking out with the Terrifier. <laughs> Okay, we'll play another game because that was really scuffed and I forgot to make it Terra Grass. All right, we've got another game. Hopefully this one's good. I've played a few games and I've won quite a few of them. The problem is none of them have really showcased anything. My opponents today are just playing very strange and they're just kind of getting swept by everything and Sarah Ledge is getting one move off. So I don't really want to use those battles for the videos. I'm trying to get an interesting one. So hopefully this one here is a little more interesting. They do have like a dancer team without another dance Pokemon. That I can see at least. Um, we're gonna go. We're gonna try to get speed control here against their uh, their Oricario. Oricario? Oricario. I said it wrong. Um, so Bombardier, um, Serilage lead is not that bad, but Gengar is kind of annoying for it. So I think um, I think this threatens quite a lot. These two threaten quite a lot, and then if we have um, an Eyelip Serilage in the back, we should be okay. So let's try that. Yes, yeah, so they go low kicks. They do have the first impression, which is really annoying. Um, so I think I protect to avoid first impression because I feel like it's first impression and then something, right? Double up into my uh, Bombardier because it is a slower Pokemon, but I don't want to let that happen. So my play I'm going to make is genuinely Glaive Rush, I think into Low Kicks. No, it's probably Sash. They can't both be Sash. Maybe that's Banded. Maybe we just crash into this slot. Maybe we crash into Low Kicks. It's probably Banded. Yeah, first impression. We knew that was coming. That was really obvious. There's the Tailwind. They didn't double up. Okay, and we just take that out. That was a really interesting uh, play. <laughs> interesting play from the opponent to um to just Tailwind up and, and first impression because they didn't need the Tailwind that turn. Okay, so now, um okay. Well, Sylveon is out. Uh, they're probably doubling up into this slot, you know, Hyper Voice into... um. Yeah, so we probably don't get this off. This actually isn't great. This actually isn't great. We're Terra Dragon too, so we can't really avoid this, but I think maybe we can live. We're a pretty strong Pokemon. 
Um, and we're gonna double up. In, uh, we're gonna hit Sylveon. Oh, they're doubling up. If they double up onto that slot, that's fine. We get the uh, the Tailwind off. So that's actually okay. This is good. We can showcase Sarah Ledge now, probably. Um, the problem is that Sarah Ledge is physical, and this like bulk up doesn't help with what they're doing. <laughs> um, okay, so Oracorio is gonna be faster. They might predict. Um, they might attack into this slot, predicting the um the protect right they might attack into sarah ledge so what i'm gonna do is honestly just straight bit a blade for recovery like immediately into sylveon because that's what the threat is right now there's gengar there's a rock slide for good damage gengar takes half its health because we get stabbed rock slide and oh my gosh look at that damage look at that damage from bit blade that's so strong um i don't know if they know but gengar is not a switch in here <laughs> um i think rage fist is the play definitely um they wouldn't be scarfed gengar they're likely Sash, and that's gone. Unless the Sash is an Oracorio, but there's no way they're Scarf Gengar. That wouldn't make any sense. Um, Shadow Sneak is the play if they are. Shadow Sneak's the play if they are Scarf. And they have Oracorio in the back, so I think Rage Fist is what I lock into. I think this is just the safer play. This is just the safer play. In case they are Scarf. I, I doubt they are Scarf, but there we go. We have the priority for in case they're Scarf, which is really good on this Pokemon. We haven't even gotten to bulk up. So yeah, we're going to Rage Fist into the Sylveon and Bitter Blade straight into Oracorio. Sometimes you don't even need to set up on Sarah Ledge. It's just a really strong Mon. It's just really, really strong. Um, honestly, I love this Pokemon. This shows you that you don't need to run the Bulk Up set. You could run Protect instead of Bulk Up, as I was saying earlier. You can run Swords Dance. You can run all different kinds of things on this Mon, and it's really strong. So here's just going to wipe the Oracorio out. Um, oh no, it's not going to do anything to Oracorio. Man, that's a bulky Oracorio. Um, that is a bulky Oracorio. But yeah, this is going to get KO'd now for sure. Um, it, it can't survive this double up. Or just the Rage. I mean, Rage Fist is so strong. But yeah, Sarah Ledge is a really, really good Pokemon, guys. I really enjoy it. And for something that hits uh, as hard as it does with the recovery it gets, to be as bulky as it is, is really, really solid. Now, 39 might not seem like much on a neutral hit. But when you're not max attack and you have no boost at all, that's a really solid hit on a Pokemon that was obviously built pretty defensively. So I hope this showcased them on a little bit for you guys. I know it wasn't a crazy, uh, crazy match or anything, but I've run so many and people just keep inting away and not playing <laughs> the game properly. And I'll, I'll be here for hours. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and have a wonderful day.